What is happening there, everybody? Molecular Narwhal here with some more Undertale. We are on our fourth episode thingy. Journey of stuff. Okay, we've done this. Oh. No, we haven't. Alright. Should be great fun. Okay. Do I die? Yep, I die. Oh! Aw, oh, sand's dead. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. It's a... Oh, gosh. Okay, so these do go off. Okay. I think I got it, actually. Nailed it. Nailed it! Oh. Okay. Oh, it's ice. <laughs> uh, what? Did I come out with a snow penis on my head? Not that time. That's right, I came out with a snow penis on my head. Yeah, what the heck? That's rude. Inappropriate. This is a family friendly channel. Gotta start my timer. I got my timer going. Uh, I don't know which way to go. Jeez. Hey, what's up? What's up? How much? What? Are you lost? No? Are you lost? What? There's a candy cane inside. He confronts me. Decorate. You had some googly eyes you found on the ground. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes. I guess you don't like that very much, huh? He stumbles blindly. Undecorate? You remove the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. Why is he like throwing eyes at me? You remove the striped cane that says I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Slightly less irritated. You remove the barbed wire made of pipe. Oh, that's, got me. that's a little better. Nailed it. Slightly less irritated. You move the box of non dog related raisins. Our weight has been lifted. I bet. No more problems. Guys, I'm a hero. I'm a hero to all the people. Like, honestly, everybody loves me right now. Okay, we're gonna go the other way first. We gotta backtrack a little bit. I love how that guy can be in like two places at once. <laughs> He's basically in every place. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. What? A tiny doghouse. Woof. <laughs> snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? The old, a snow puff. <laughs> eh, there's so gold inside this. What is this? <laughs> did I, did I get it? Looks like I took it. Hey, it paid off, huh? Uh oh. It's a dog. It's a doggo. Hi, doggo. Hello. Oh gosh, that bark. How terrifying. Oh my gosh. That's scary. It's the greater dog. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Bark, bark. Ah! <laughs> He's seeking affection? Pet. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. I understand greater dog is patient, is patting the ground with its front paws play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Great dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it <laughs> Now nah, dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. 
That's so cute. It's adorable. Great dog wants some TLC. Pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. Uh oh. But you still haven't pet enough. Oh no. Pet capacity is 40%. Oh gosh. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. What a classy dog move. Oh, what the deuce. Greater dog is contented. Alright. Oh, gosh. This game is ridiculous. Oh, the doggo. No, go away, cat. I know you hear me talking, but. Cut it out. Uh, this is another way that looks like it's leading somewhere. There was a town the other- oh, okay. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. Yeah, that looks scary. You're right. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Oh, doggo! <laughs> Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the finest chance of, vi finest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up. What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. Can I just walk, please? That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah. We can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too dis direct. No classes at all. Anyway, or away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. I do. Okay, I think we need to go the other way now. Because we didn't... I don't know. There's two ways to go, and I want to go every way in the world. Ice Cap and Snow Drake confront you, sighing. Jerry. I guess they don't like Jerry. Let's just, uh... Jerry needs a friend, so I guess they don't like Jerry. Alright, we need to fight, uh... We're gonna have to fight Ice Cat. Oh! I just love my hat, okay? Kasai, my fav... I okay. Okay. Oh my goodness! It smells like a wet pillow. Act. Uh, I guess we should go for ice cap. Steel. I guess we can compliment it. We could also steal it. You inform ice cap that it has a great hat. Duh. Oh, I went with the wrong choice. I knew the right thing to do, but I was hoping maybe that would give me better results or something. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, I did not handle that well this time. Snow Drink is smiling at its own bad joke. Okay. Ice Cap, I'm stealing your hat. You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat and succeeded. It melts in your hands. Oh no! I, I. Oh. Snow Drink is assessing the crowd. You laugh at Snow Drink's pun. See, last, Ed was wrong. What can I say? Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. The Wi Fi here sucks. <laughs> Jerry. Everyone knows Jerry. Makes attacks two seconds long. Oh, God. Awkward. 
just needs that covering his nose. Dude, it's like Jerry from Parks and Rec. I wonder if that's what it is. Well. Licks his hands loudly. Awkward. He don't want to be spared. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. You Okay, Sasha just done that from the beginning, probably. Gosh darn it, Jerry. Jerry, you terrible human being. <laughs> that was very interesting. I feel like I should have gone for the... Hmm. I, I feel like I handled the hat guy wrong there somehow. But it's hard to tell how. Oh my god. Okay, act. Undecorate. The lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking. That's a little better. Oh, gosh. Slightly less infuriated. Undecorate. Stocking filled with chicken nuggets. It's <laughs> a good stocking right there. Okay. Move barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. Weight has been lifted. Yeah, they have. Bye. Why does everybody want to fight you while you're helping them? It's not very nice. I think those are trying to hit me. It's a door. There must be an order I learned eventually. Okay, so those don't actually do it. Okay, so I came back for nothing. Darn. Darn it. Tried my hardest. Oh, maybe we'll have to confront Jerry again. It's kind of, but I literally, I literally think he's a, like a joke about Jerry from Parks and Recreation. He's literally the same. He's probably down with licks fingers loudly. <laughs> Jerry came too. Can we just, uh... All ditch Jerry? You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. Your head looks so naked. Yeah, how about I kill you? Snow, no, it's hat versus to you. I will take your hat, please. Try to steal Ice Cap's hat and succeeded. It melts in your hands. What can I? Why is he turned into that ice? Wait, is he just an ice block before I take his hat? Ditch him. You and the other monsters ditch your when it looks away. What can I say? Ice cap is no more. I wonder if that means I killed him or what. I can't tell. Oh well. Screw ice cap. Forget him. The flower. Welcome to Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town. Okay. Let's save. Sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. I guess I'll put this in here so I don't use it. No, I'm supposed to carry it with me on it. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Bye. Tough glove. Slap him. Manly bandana. Plus seven defense. Heals 11 times two. Eat it twice. Simba, it's my own recipe. Heals 22. So that actually heals 22 as well, so that's better. Let's buy that. Talk. Say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? 
The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grilled Bees has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. If you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town's gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in snowed in. Oh, and didn't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can borrow, burrow under the door, forget about it. Alright then, your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? No? Jeez. Grow up here. Bye now. Come again sometime. They're all so sad. What is happening in this land? Bicycle. Manly. You equip manly bandana. Okay, there you go. Cool. I think I'm going to take this out because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have it. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Oh, why would I say that? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's max HP? Good question. Yeah, I don't really need that, honestly. I mean, not that it wouldn't be great. Kinda. But whatever. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. That's rude. Huh. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable, tee hee. Alright. It's a bear. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. Aw, I saved them. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. <laughs> Guess it was a good thing those teens tormented that monster. Aw, that's terrible. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> okay, so striped shirts are kids. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Alright. Grill bees. It's a bunch of wolves. There's a fish lady, a bird. Wolves or dogs or something. Uh, horse looking thing. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. <laughs> we love bones. I don't get no respect. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> it does indeed. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's a playing poker against itself. It appears to be this <laughs> What the heck? He's drunk. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Oh, I want new drinks and hot guys. All right, oh, that thing's scary. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting, I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the Erasure of our local culture. Well, I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. <laughs> Dubak is broken. He's lit. Grilby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Yeah, I could understand that. 
Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Is that her? I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Well, you are a fish, so that makes sense. <laughs> Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. So this is all underground, huh? Why? We can't do anything. So why be morose about it? Good point. It's fair, I guess. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What? It's a school <laughs> report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> Here I am, writing this book. A person comes... Why are there in parentheses? I don't understand. A person comes in... Oh, yeah, okay, because you're reading it to yourself. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defense will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Oh. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Aw. Oh. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp, and swampland, and searing heat, until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Oh, that's rough. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teacher gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. Happened to me too. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Yeah, you'd know. Uh, that looks like a monster for monster, ain't you? That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? No? Yeah? Yeah. You got me. It's a mailbox overflow with unread junk mail. I bet, jeez. I have that problem too. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside, yes. It's empty. Wow. So the Papyrus checks all his mail, or, uh, I don't know. It's locked. So that navigates the town. It's locked from the inside. Of course it is. It's like the Lost Woods or something. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. Does he love me? I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. War or not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your friend. No. <laughs> no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. 
then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way, he's so fabulous. Check. Let's flirt with him. What? F flirting? So, you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. Oh gosh, I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Gosh. Flirt. Oh no. Let's date later. Okay, so I need to, I need to beat him down a little bit. Okay, his attacks aren't really great, huh? Shy about what to cook for his date. Papyrus. Okay. He likes to say. Yeah. <laughs> Dab some bone clone. Is this supposed to wait? <laughs> I feel like the bones getting smaller is, is symbolic or something. <laughs> Perhaps dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. What? He likes. <laughs> I don't know what is happening right now. Oh, okay. MTT brand Bishy cream behind his ear. Okay. Serve a bunch on the mic. Dabs anime powder behind his ear. But to avail, to no avail. You, seems acting won't escalate this battle. So we're gonna have to fight him, huh? Uh-oh, so you're serious? Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. What? You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Oh no! What? Why? The heck did it go over there? Try holding the up button to jump. It went like all the way, the analog, I tried to turn off the analog stick for this, but I couldn't do it. It's really messed up in this game. I think it's my controller, not the game, but. Please hit the middle of the eye. Well, I'm not thinking about that date thing. God. <laughs> Good grief. Peppers prepares non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Gosh darn. Yeah, don't use my. S don't make me use your special attack. I can't get down! <laughs> Papyrus is considering his options. I can almost taste my future popularity. Oh, okay. That's cool. Cackling. Mate insult him would be head of the Royal Guard, yeah. Yeah, totally. That'll be you. It's rattling his bones. 
Papyrus unparalleled. Yeah, see, I'm weak because I, I don't fight much. I'm too nice. Oh, gosh. Preparing a bone attack. Undyne will be really proud of me. Doubt it. Jeez. Now it. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Gosh. Okay. Nee. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, man. My brother will. Well, he won't change very much. What? <laughs> you have to eat something? No, I think we'll. I think we'll be okay. No, we might as well eat. Yeah, I think we should eat something. I have lots of admirers, but... What? Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Papyrus is too busy- oh gosh. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? I hope not for your sake. Gosh, it's those random ones I can't do. So if I had someone like you, it's really rare. I know. Oh, what? Thing made me jump. Okay. Ah. Oh. I'm not too weak. What? That fight was bullcrap. <laughs> it's too small to sleep on. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. There's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in this guest room until Undyne arrives. Be ready to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. It's a squeaky chew toy. Let's walk right on out of there. Well, that didn't go too well. But it's okay. I had another area I wanted to look at anyway. <laughs> that last part of that was kind of uh, bullcrap. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Alright, screw you. What's he doing? Just throwing ice into the river? Why not? Ring, ring. Hello, can I speak to G? Wait, I said it. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number, the wrong number song. We're very right. Sorry that we got it wrong. Click. It's interesting. Well, uh, let's play Monsters and Humans. That's not. Despite the negative result of that battle, I feel happy about life. Unicycle, bicycle. What's this, uh... Heals 50 HP. Okay. So I have lots of health stuff. But I think we're going to call it quits and we're going to try that battle again next time. Let's see. Use the box. Yes. Let's put the bandage in there. Let's maybe go buy some better... Two of those better health things. I now see their value. The other is used twice, but this is better for that battle probably. Alright, I hope you guys are enjoying this series, and I am having some fun with it. Still not sure what I think of it completely, but I think we have a lot to do still. Hope you guys are enjoying. See you next time.